tonight we Harry Game Lords have been playing this SAS Rogue Regiment. It's the uh, preview mini edition. What did we think? Find out. Slightly beardy James here. So, Rob Butler has uh, lent us this preview copy of SAS Rogue Regiment, which is really beautifully timed because there's the uh, SAS uh, TV show going on at the moment, which is uh, doing very well. But Rogue Regiment is, um, I don't know, one that I've been really interested in for quite a while because when I saw that Rob was developing this game, essentially I just love the game. Commandos on the PC. You guys play it? No, oh, I sometimes I'm. Dave Yes, Sometimes I go, sometimes Dave. I go Commando. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew goes Commando. Uh, I, I play Commandos, the original <laughs> game. Anyway, this game has got such a great <laughs> its way of replicating that stealth aspect. Really love the pacing in this game. So essentially, you have got four boards laid out. In our case, we had four. Um, and you've got um, a mission to, to do. Uh, our mission was to destroy, uh, let's see, where are they? One, two, three, supply de depot things, and then also assassinate, there's a, there he is, the little officer over there. And then we had to get out. Run away. Um, run away. <laughs> And we did. Well, I mean, I didn't. So I. So, so how did you get on when you played this solo, James? Okay, right. So I, the selfless hero that I am, learned this game all on my own and played it as a solo. And I made all the mistakes that I taught them not to make um, for when they played it together as a cooperative game. <laughs> <laughs> um, this game is fantastic because you can play it as solo or co-op. Um, I last night worked through this and like honestly when you approach this game for the first there's quite a bit to wrap your head around because it's a, a lot of it is about line of sight and you've got a flat board but you've got a lot of pictures on it which is really nice once you've got it all out but you're trying to figure out what can a guy see from there can he see this spot here can he see it if it's crouching can I? Can he see a man being murdered from over this side? I mean, assassinated because we're in war. Do we murder in war? Anyway, uh, so uh, there's quite a bit of wrapping your head around how line of sight works. Um, although saying that, uh, Rob's put in the book quite a few handy um, uh, diagrams that uh, teach all of these things. All of that aside. The lasting feeling I have from this game is that satisfaction of carefully mopping up all of the different um, bad guys on one side of the board and then making an absolute hash of the other side of the board. I, um, I was so careful. I didn't set off any alarms. I, um, I hid all of the bodies. I was carrying explosive barrels through to get to, um, to set off the, um, the explosions I needed to blow up the supply depots. I'd snuck around the other side to get the uh, the officer, put down a bear trap. Did not think that somebody might witness a man walking onto a bear trap. And uh, his alert flicks up, he spins over, and he is now alerted. This is bad for me. He shouts to his near friend, who flips over as well. He is now alert. They don't know where I am, but they know I'm here, and I'm hiding in the bushes. Looking at a corpse on the ground next to a bear trap, thinking, oh no, this is all going crazy. Um, I bring down my, um, there he is. I bring down my green beret. Who's got a red beret? I don't know. My officer. He's called Jock. Jock comes in, stabs a man, and then Paddy jumps up with his gigantic sten and <laughs> mows down the other one. And, um, and all is fine, but one step away from the alarm going, so I'm... I've just got to sack it, a lob a grenade, I throw another grenade to blow up the uh, the second supply depot, shoot the third barrel, the, and it's just carnage everywhere. SMG troops come swarming in from both sides, I hide in a building, and think this is it. And, I don't know, I went now in a hail of um, absolute kind of like, I don't know, it was success if it was a suicide mission. And so I'm going to take that. <laughs> um, I jumped out and uh, Jock immediately was mown down by everybody. So um, 
I'm not going to lie, this game um, was hard to get into at first, but once I'd cracked it personally, the second half of my game flew, and I was making quick decisions, the game turned over very quickly, uh, maintenance of the game got quicker and quicker and quicker as you hit play in it, and um, it actually was a real joy to play, very satisfying. If you liked the uh, Commandos computer games, this will... This will be a game that you will enjoy as well. Pete's views then on SAS Rogue Regiment. I really liked it. I've not played many kind of skirmish games, um, particularly ones where you need the line of sight thing. Probably played two, maybe three of those in my gaming lifetime. So I, a lot of this I was learning how it worked and trying to, and kind of keeping within my skill set. Whereas, so Dave did a lot of the heavy lifting. I just kind of, Although I did rely, I, my guy, I, I played as Jock for the whole uh, thing who had a knife. So my I was basically um, the silent assassin running in behind people, running in behind them like that and just leaving a trail of dead bodies really carefully moving around, um, moving around the kind of back half of the map, clearing out um, the, the way out, really, while Dave with his bombs kind of went into where all the all the air, you know, all the guys were where you could quite easily be spotted. There was a densely populated area and, and laid a whole load of bombs. I then managed to nip round the back of the sort of main compound, scale the wall, um, hunker down for a couple of turns and then lob a grenade to blow the last couple of guys out of that area and also the last crate. Poor Dave was then left a little bit out in the open for a bit. Had a few. Got, he got shot at a fair bit. Um, <laughs> managed to get himself down into a building and then from one building to the next. Um, James will say we were lucky in the draw of the cards. During each round, there will be an event phase. And you're going to be drawing event cards. And the event cards have got two sides to them. This side here is going to be happening basically in the first, most of the first half of the game. This side, when the alarm goes, you're going to be triggering this bit. The space here allows you to decide whether you're going to be moving the white paths or the black paths, and they basically alternate uh, each turn. So there are there are various paths on the map um, with guards that move round a set. They're an automated sort of sentry path that they're going to walk around, um, and there's a white and a black one, and they alternate. So. We got quite lucky, let probably you could argue that, or we, we made our own luck by uh, just the way the uh, way we'd shuffled the deck at the start, I guess. Um, I did shuffle it really well, James. Maybe that's the trick. Um, but basically, we had about two or three turns where the um, the reinforcements didn't come or didn't move, which gave us time to basically pelt it out of there. On my way past, I lobbed a grenade and got rid of the three... Um, reinforcements that were sort of chasing us down that allowed Dave to get out I had another couple of turns to get myself out but basically the distance that they would have to cover meant that I was safe and we got out of there I don't think I would have been able to play this game had James not really worked hard in explaining all the line of sight stuff and making sure each of the um, sentries and things has got a, a view that they can see out in front of them and so even the positioning of them and as they move they can see different things and as they turn if they catch you while they're turning you would be spotted it's those little things you have to you've got to have a mind to be able to do that in a game like this so i think this kind of game will suit people who are used to that kind of game and i to be honest i think as a learning so kind of, I think you could get your head around it, but you'd have to be really, you'd have to be really slow and steady getting through that in the early phases. Really enjoyed it. Would love to play it again. And uh, if you're into army games, if you're into skirmish games, if you like, you're sort of getting your line of sight measure out. This is a really, really nice game. Um, and hit a really nice co-op sweet spot as well. Hi, Dave the Grey. Now, obviously, I'm old enough to have played Commandos when yeah, it first boy. came out. Uh, so. That's really cool. I've also just finished watching SAS Rogue Heroes. And this is very similar. Um, very cool. Also, these boards, nice, big, thick and chunky. Very cool. Um, and you put them together, double-sided, like that. Loads of stuff for you guys to run and hide behind, snurtle around, rooms to go into, jump out, kill Nazis. Punching Nazis is okay, kids. Um, 
And then you've got these nice big chunky tokens for guards who patrol around. Some of them have got static positions with machine guns, officers, all very, very cool. Uh, so, uh, yeah, if you like um, that kind of thing, check it out. Um, the other thing that I'm also thinking is, you know what would be even cooler is if you, like, maybe made some 3D buildings oh, um, to play around rather than just a flat board. That would be beyond cool and, in fact, awesome. So... Looks awesome. Uh, Gaming-wise, there's two ways to play this game. Uh, you can play it probably as a kind of a puzzle custom. The guards patrol known paths, um, so you can kind of plot where they're going to go. Obviously, sometimes you'll turn a card over and they'll spin around and go the other way, which will destroy <laughs> all of your carefully laid plans, but that's part of the fun of it. So, yeah, you can play it as kind of a puzzly how am I going to get from there to there to there? Which I started off doing. Um, laid my bombs, kind of got stuck when one of the sentries decided to turn around and stare straight through the gap that I was uh, planning on legging it across so I could lay my second bomb. At which point I was there watching um, the clock <laughs> and going, I've got 10 turns before this bomb that I'm stood next to goes bang. And I need to get a away from my bomb that's going to go bang and over there to lay the second bomb so they get both explode at the same time because obviously a bomb going off will alert the guards. Uh, so yeah, nice puzzly thing of it. There's also, you could just play it as a, almost like a skirmish game. And if you're going to do that, you probably do need to invoke the rule of cool a little bit. Uh, we did have small argument about whether or not a Sten gun can be fired from a prone position. I'm right. Rule of cool versus playing by the letter of the rules. There was a to... way around it. You were allowed to blind fire and because you were close enough, you, we managed to get around it and still kill the guy. So it all works in the end, Dave, to be fair. You can <laughs> fire a Sten gun from a kneeling position. <laughs> is all I'm going to say on the matter. And then we're going to move on and get on with the rest of our lives. However, we did run around, blow stuff up, kill Nazis and get away. So uh, <laughs> go us. And James didn't. So that just proves we're better than him. So uh, although it's a cooperative game, I like to think we won. Yes, we did. Um, but no, very cool game. Uh, yeah, as I say, you could... If you really, really wanted to be really, really unpleasant, you could probably have one person playing as the guards and figure out a way of doing that. That could be really, really unpleasant and na nasty. Hmm. But yeah, very cool game. Tons of fun. Very much does invoke the spirit of the Commando game. This one is a prototype, so we only had the two guys Really, 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 really need to be able to play with four guys, obvs, because uh, then you have all four of your commando fellas. Got the sniper. And I just really need to have the guy dressed up in a German uniform, swanning in the front gates. Oh, it's a lady. Got yeah. to love it. Uh, you oldies, you know where I'm coming from. Uh, so no, great game. If you like the commando's computer game, this is the Commando's computer game. So, higher praise is probably difficult to find. Um, so yeah, check it out, get involved with the Kickstarter. Definitely going to be playing it again, um, ideally with more stuff and more big explosions. So, uh, two thumbs up from me. And Stens can fire lying down from a prone position <laughs> without firing blind.